So in the first round playoffs, we were up against the Golden State Warriors. And surprisingly, the underdog Lakers actually won the series. We beat Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors in a seven game series. The challenge to the NBA Finals does not get any easier. We're now facing up against Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Two beasts in the NBA. Now, if you don't think they're any good, we'll take a look at this. In 2014, Kevin Durant won the MVP. In 2016, Kevin Durant won the MVP. And in 2017, Russell Westbrook won the MVP. And it's crazy. This series will be challenging. Round two action of the NBA playoffs about to get underway. Tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Oklahoma City Thunder in their house, Chesapeake Energy Arena. Looking at the Thunder, they enter the conference semifinals looking very tough. A clean sweep in round one. They're hoping to carry that momentum into game one tonight. So here it is, round two, up against the Thunder, the Lakers versus the Thunder. Here are the Lakers starting five at the five, Hassan Whiteside. At the four, Boogie, Demarcus Cousins. At the three, the injured Jabari Parker, who, yeah, he's still injured in the series, unfortunately. And at the two, Kobe Bryant, as I get dunked on. And at the one, D'Angelo Russell. Now, if you guys haven't checked out today's video, do so, it's a pretty funny video, the one I released earlier, it's a jersey review video, but I also have a slapping contest with my brother, so be sure to check the video out. Now let's get into this, my GM series. So, it is the second round playoffs, up against the Thunder. Kobe's going vintage on Serge Ibaka right there, he says hand down, man down, Westbrook feeding it off to Kevin Durant as he hits the mid-range jumper. J.R. Smith, we run a play for him. We see the mismatch on Hassan Whiteside, and we feed him down low. And he was literally on a baby as he dunks all over Jody Meeks right there. Durant! He is the Durantula as he slams that one down. The injured Jabari Parker is something else, man. He can't hit a shot because he is injured still, which is unfortunate. But J.R. Smith says, you know what? He won't hit a shot, so let me hit a shot. And I celebrate like I always do with a crazy... I don't even know what that is, but that looks pretty sick right there. 19 to 11 to end the first quarter. The Thunder, you already know these guys are gonna come back. Allen takes a terrible shot though, he misses that. We give the ball up to J.R. Smith, who feeds Kobe Bryant, who gets the easy layup. This man has lost a lot of his athleticism. But a man that hasn't lost a lot of his athleticism and I don't think he will for a while, and that's Russell Westbrook as he gets that layup to go. It's only it's only a three-point lead now to the Lakers as Hassan Whiteside gets that dunk to go. And you're going to see throughout the whole of this video, Hassan Whiteside and DeMarcus Cousins really step it up. They're playing as proper big men. They're working as a team. They're being the Beast Towers as I've named them before and I'll name them again. The Beast Towers. <laughs> Westbrook goes all the way but gets denied by Boogie Cousins and then Boogie feeds Hassan Whiteside who gets that slam to go. 33 to 26, 1 minute 20 seconds left in this game. Boogie sets a nice screen and then rolls for the alley-oop slam right there as he gets that dunk to go. J.R. Smith gets him with the crossover. He flops and J.R. Smith with the easy scoop layup, 37 to 28, and that ends the half. 14 rebounds, 11 assists, shooting 55%. The Lakers are looking good. 37 to 28, start of the third quarter. Allen giving up to Kevin Durant as he hits that three and it's only a six point game right now. Kobe, trying to be throwback, pumps him, gets that midi to go, 39 to 31. Kobe Bryant looks like vintage right there. Durant, putting on the moves, misses. Ibaka comes out of nowhere with the flying alley-oop slam and gets that to go. And then Westbrook draws the foul and gets that and one to go. So the Thunder are looking like they're gonna come back in this game. Kobe Bryant faces Sam Whiteside who gets his own board, gives it out back to Kobe who gets that three to go. And as soon as we thought the Thunder were gonna come back in this game, the Lakers strike again. Durant gets that mid-range to go, 
and the Lakers need to play this defense. They need to lock down Durant and Westbrook. If they do that, they're going to win this game. Jabari Parker, it's about the only shot he's hit all day. He hits this three, and he gets that to go. Jabari's playing through the injury, man. I mean, playing through an injury is tough, especially in the, in the uh, NBA playoffs. Westbrook fires right back. Gets that mid-range to go. It's only a 7-point game. Make that a 10-point game right now. Durant gets the mid-range to go. 8-point game. Lakers are up by 8 points. 50-42. to 42, And Boogie's running the break as he gets that slam dunk to go. Boogie's quarter is now. Another slam dunk. And then another one right there. Another one to DeMarcus Cousins. And he's not done. As he misses that. Boogie says, get that out of here not one not two not three not four but about five replays for demarcus cousins and then kelly Oubre goes all the way for the slam and the lakers are looking like they're not going to be stopped tonight 58 to 49 start of the fourth quarter the lakers have all the momentum they're running a stupid full court press and you know when you run a full court full court press i should say we're going to go work. We're going to go to work. Hassan Whiteley gets the alley right there. Gets some and one right here. And the Lakers are looking like they're going to dominate and come out with this win tonight. 62 to 53. And Hassan Whiteside hopefully is going to hit this free throw to make it a 10 point lead in the last quarter. He gets that to go. But then the Lakers lead is suddenly cut down to six. Doesn't even matter. Make it nine as D'Angelo Russell gets that three point shot to go. In real life, actually, there's been rumors about Jordan Clarkson leaving the Los Angeles Lakers. Apparently there's been a trade rumor he's going to the Pelicans or something like that. I'll keep you guys updated if that happens soon, but that's crazy. Boogie slams it down right there. And so the Lakers have a strong lead with about three minutes left in this game. Make it a three-point lead with two minutes left. Jabari gets the quick steal and he's waiting for someone to come down. Here it is, D'Angelo Russell from downtown. He hits that three and it's a six-point game with two minutes left remaining in this game. Westbrook clutches hell, gets that midi to go. 69 to 73, it's a four-point lead to the Lakers. Boogie sets a nice screen, rolls to the rim and gets that slam to go. DeMarcus Cousins has been dominating in this last quarter. This game is going down to the wire. Expect a crazy finish. So the Thunder have the ball. 1 minute 40 left remaining. Westbrook feeds it off to Allen. Allen right here had an open look, but he drives inside, gets the teardrop floater to go. It's a four-point lead. One and a half minutes remaining. All the Lakers need to do right now is slow it down and get a good look. Randall sets the pick right there. He's rolling to the basket. Nobody's covering him. And one for Julius Randall. The rookie the second year player but didn't play much in his first year goes to the basket draws the foul gets the finish and the free throw and we also give up another open look but Allen can't hit anything and we need one shot for the dagger with 50 seconds remaining they leave JR swish open as he knocks it down and that folks is the dagger Kevin Durant couldn't get the win neither could Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder Go down and lose game one as Kevin Durant is definitely disappointed with that result. Do the Lakers take game number one in the second round playoff series up against the Oklahoma City Thunder? Westbrook dropped 16, 6 for 9 shooting, but Durant dropped 11 with 5 for 15 shooting and 1 from 8 from downtown. I could see why Durant was disappointed with himself. So here are the Lakers stats. Boogie, 22 points. Didn't get many rebounds. He left them all to Hassan Whiteside. He got a double-double with 15 and 10, 3 assists. Kobe Bryant, 12 points, 5 assists. J.R. Smith dropped 12 points as well. Now, before I leave you guys, I wanted to say this. For some reason, my stupid recording device, the Elgato, messed up. And so I didn't have Game 2, Game 3s, Game 4... Game 5. Actually, no, I got Game 5, but I don't have Game 2, Game 3, Game 4. So my bad on that one, guys. I don't even know what happened. My recording device messed up. So I can I can show you guys Game 5, but then I can't even show you guys Game 6 or if it goes to a Game 7. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll do something for you guys. So in the next episode, you'll see Game 5 up against the Thunder. Not Game 2, not Game 3, not Game 4. It's been Bonnie Smith. I'm out. Peace.